Two days ago, I had a tenant move out of one side of my duplex. So I caught a flight back from Utah and here I am quickly to try and see if it makes sense to do some deep renovation plans before putting in a new tenant. It's something I've wanted to do. I did some slight renovations on the duplex on the, the one side that that person just moved out of when I first bought it. The other side still has a long-term tenant in there. So the opportunity for a vacancy in order to renovate is not available on that side right now, but it is on one side. So I'm gonna bring you along today. I'm gonna go over there right now and take a look, meet with one of my properties managers there and just bouncing around some ideas on what we could potentially do because I know that the rental comps in the area definitely support a lot higher rent. Unfortunately, it is still a smaller unit, so there's only so much you can do, but uh, we're definitely planning on doing some fun stuff if the numbers make sense. So let's at least go check it out. If not, we'll just rent it out how it is and that's fine. All right, and I transported over to the duplex. I am not gonna show the unit number, obviously. Anyways, so the tenant just moved out. The cool thing is they paid a two month lease break fee as you normally would because they wanted to leave early. So, cool thing is they left everything in great condition. So, if you guys remember when I first bought it, I'll try to throw up some photos. I mean, this thing was ruined. These blinds were yellow, so Everything's nice, we painted it, the paint is doing great, everything is perfect, I mean, it looks like nobody even lived in here. So, as for renovation plans, appliances, try to picture this. Black appliances, you got a dishwasher right there, fridge, stove and oven, the little hood scoop, all black, white cabinets with black hardware, and then gray refinished countertops. I'm not doing granite. I'm not trying to re-rip any of this out. None of the cabinets are coming out. I'm 50-50 on redoing the doors. They're in great shape, so we can pull them and refinish them. New sink, which can be silver, a little more modern. I mean, this is really shallow. It's I mean, only like three, four inches. So the kitchen's gonna be a big one. We had done a lot of things to turn the unit really quick, like put in this wood down here, but you can see on this side now, the wood is sagging down like, <laughs> I mean like three or four inches, so. I mean, it just needs some basic work. It's in such a great area. It rents really easily. We had done some simple new stuff like all the fixtures, all of the lights, and all of the ceiling fans, which are still a modern-ish feel. So I mean, everything's good. The carpet, which we had redone is, it looks freaking brand new. I came in here, I was like, did, they, did we already get it cleaned? And they said no. This is how the person left it. So the previous tenant had left it in, I mean, perfect condition. So you can see the carpet's great. We had redone that. It's got carpet all the way through into the closet. Now the closet I wasn't a huge fan of when we had first uh, gotten it, when I first bought this. It's looking like it's sagging a little bit, but I mean, it is solid. You know, it's not going anywhere. We uh, replaced everything we needed to. All of this was repainted because this was like gray, brown. I mean, there was spray paint on the walls. It was, it was messed up. So we'd done this. We'd done some new simple fixtures, some new doors. I think these were, no, we refinished these cabinet doors. So, I mean, it's only a two bedroom, one bath. The bathroom's not terrible. We had done this. Now the laundry room, for the next tenant, I am going to be buying a washer and dryer. We're gonna redo the floor in here. I mean, it looks a little aggressive, but at least there's a door so you can close it off so you don't really have to look at it. But the unit's nice. It's in a great area again, like I keep saying that, but it, uh, it'll it definitely rent out. Um, I'm gonna break down all the costs and, and the rental bump once I get back home. But the biggest thing, the kitchen. You know, I mean, this looks like something out of the Brady Bunch or something in the 1970s. I mean, it literally has a, a door here that says butter. I mean, who has that much butter? So. I don't know, it's kind of neat, I mean, but uh, you know, time to kind of update it. So it'll be cool since this is the unit that I originally put is like 4,700 bucks into, because it wasn't livable when I bought it. Um, and you can't really also finance a multifamily unit if one of them is not livable. So we had to do that and work that out with the owner. And that came out to about 4,700 bucks. That got it rentable. And then it was rented now for the last nine or nine months. And then I, you know, he just moved out and paid up until the day he moved out, plus two months rent, which is the lease break fee. So basically got a full year and now I have a two month buffer to do all renovation work and that's a big reason why I wanna do it because I can do everything in about 45 to 55 days. Everybody's really busy right now. But here's the yard. I have 
thought about and might eventually do something cool with this all turf a little rock bed about two or three feet from the house and two or three feet from the wall with like some fake shrubberies just so it's low maintenance well i mean no maintenance but um it's not really gonna bump the rents that much. I really don't wanna over renovate. I'm not gonna be that guy. Need some exterior paint in the next few years like on the wall, but everything else is super solid. So now, like I said, the unit is fairly small. It's uh, about 900, maybe 950 square feet if you're being generous, two bed, one bath. So, you know, you don't wanna overdo it too much, but uh, yeah, that's kind of the plans. I'm gonna take some fun before and after pictures. Then I gotta head home. I got a crazy busy day. I'm only here for, less than 24 hours at the moment. And then I, I am currently headed out of the country. So I had to go get a COVID test yesterday and all this stuff. So a lot of stuff to do in the next like 20 hours. But uh, yeah, other than that, let's go back home. and I'm gonna break down what these costs are and what the uh, rent, which we already have a lead at the new rental price. So I have no, no doubt in my mind that we'll get the new rental price, but we just gotta get the work done, which again, we'll probably, I'm gonna estimate two months, but uh, hopefully we can get it done in under a month and a half and then get photos out re-rent it, approve the tenant, gotta go through the application, obviously run the credit, and then everything should be good. So yeah, that's the plans. I don't think that I missed anything. Uh, there's nothing crazy on the exterior here, so there's not really much to show, but um, there is no garage. You know, there's a little two-car port for the other tenant there and some more parking in the street, but everything's pretty low maintenance. I do have to get weeds out of the rocks every couple months, but I mean, other than that, not much. All right, so let's make this as simple as possible. I'm gonna throw up a list of estimates. These are not perfect quotes, and everything I'm gonna give you is about to be very conservative. So take this list and as, as an example, we're gonna walk through this. Um, it just really depends on what I wanna do. So new cabinets installed for the bathroom and the kitchen would come in at around four, I'm gonna say about 4,500 is very realistic. That's with install, right? But I'm not gonna be actually redoing all of the cabinets. I'm not ripping anything down. Those plans changed. Well, and this is based on the walkthrough that I just did, which is the reason I'm in Arizona right now, which is where this duplex is. So my plan for this with the actual kitchen, the kitchen's a huge component, just with the cabinets, is to refinish everything, repaint, new shelving inside, or some of the wood needs to be replaced, as you guys saw, but completely refinish everything. I don't think that's gonna cost more than about 1500 to two grand. Hardware is like a dollar a door handle, $1.50 at Home Depot. Everything's super easy to do. Labor, install, definitely under $2,000. So that $4,000 quote is not exactly accurate. Again, these were just estimates. I'm gonna have people come in and do the quotes and I'll let you guys know an update video once it's done. But uh, new flooring, this is gonna be a big thing, but it's really only probably 650 square feet of flooring because the bedrooms are carpeted. So we're gonna do a really nice vinyl, like you know, kind of the modern vinyl. I'll try to throw up a picture. You guys see, you know, the gray vinyl. I'm probably gonna be doing something somewhat similar in my personal home, but it's not a lot of square footage to cover. It's really gonna give the place a facelift. And the tile that's underneath, we don't have to drill that up and jackhammer and remove it, which would be a huge expense. The cool thing is we can just lay that vinyl right over. It's super high quality. It's not gonna rip, it's not gonna peel. It's not even layered, it's actual planks. So it's gonna be super high quality. If something gets chipped or rips or, or cracks or whatever, you can replace that section, not have to redo the entire floor. So that's the floor. The bathroom wall retile, 750 bucks. There's definitely a few little things in the bathroom. The bathroom is actually fairly nice. Again, it's only one bathroom in that unit. We had redone it. It was, I mean, there was no sink. There was no cabinet area for the actual sink. There was no toilet. There was no bathtub. So that was part of the 4,200, I believe, I spent when I initially purchased the property to make that side livable in order to rent it out. And we'll talk about all the rental prices here in a moment. Um, so a little bit in the bathroom. A tub resurface, 150 bucks. That's super, super simple. Anybody in real estate or in the tub business knows that you're just kind of resurfacing the, the actual surface of that. Drywall, paint, and repairs. I think this actually will probably be less than this estimate of $500. It's just there's a couple little small spots. The old tenant probably had pictures hanging up and whatnot. And since they broke their lease, their security deposit is being kept. So you know, that's something that is forfeited when you break a lease. So we do have that money in reserve, which will pretty much pretty much fix any repairs that I have to do to the property. So that's easy enough. 500 bucks, just some basic stuff there. Brushed nickel upgrade. This includes you know light fixtures, which I think one ceiling fan out of the three well, there, there's about to be three. There's one that we want to add in. Um, sink faucets, you know, redoing the sink, anything like that. Some small stuff, some handles that I want to redo. One of the door handles needs to be redone on the main front door. So small things like that, call it 1100 Appliances, $700. This is the one that kind of got me. I was like, 
ah, no way. But um, the property management company that I use is great friends and in the same office complex, like plaza thing as multiple appliance companies. And so we get really nice refurbished, slightly used appliances. And it's not, I'm, I was probably thinking more multifamily. I mean, this is a small unit or single family, excuse me. I was thinking more single family pricing, you know, going on buying a fridge, buying a stove, buying a dishwasher, which would probably run you up easily $2,000. But these are nice, slightly used, refurbished things that are a few years old. So get a fridge, that's, that's a huge one, the fridge, the dishwasher, and then that oven stove and the hood above it. So again, all black appliances, those are actually gonna be a, probably the hardest part to get right now. I mean, there's next to nothing available. Uh, none of those companies have any of that stuff available right now. So it's gonna be hard to get, and that might mess with our timeline, but that is the total Total quote estimate, not an exact quote, that's like the first layer estimate uh, based on some initial ideas which have changed. So that list comes out to I think it was like 8,700 bucks or something. I'm assuming with the changes we're making will probably be under seven, probably hopefully in the sixes or even less. But what I'm gonna assume is 10 grand. That's that's the budget for it, $10,000. The budget was really 15, but we're, we're, not, we're not trying to over renovate. 10,000 should be done in 45 days call it 60, give us that timeline. Again, the great component here is that tenant had left, which left us a two month buffer, right? Because we got a two month lease break fee. So here's how the rental side of things work. Both sides of those duplexes are one year tenants rented at $1,200 a month. Based on the area it's in, a two bed, one bath, um, whether it's an apartment, a condo, a super small home, you don't really see two by ones over there. You see a lot of three by ones and three by twos. Uh, regardless, a two by one like that, there's ample, ample amount of rental comps at like 1500, I mean 1400 to 1650, all over the place, all day long. So it's super easy, it's kind of, it's not crazy expensive real estate, it's not the lowest of the lowest, that super normal price point range. So by making this property really nice, and I'll put in a picture, kind of an example of what we're going for here. Um, so you'll see a before and an after. So take a look at what it's at right now, which you guys just saw, and then an after picture of what it should look like. It's a pretty rough estimate of what we're gonna be doing. So we should be able to bump those rents from pretty easily from 1200 to at least 1450. Now, we have a lead on someone who wants it for 1500 as soon as it's renovated already. We haven't even started the renovations, right? So 1500 is actually pretty reasonable in that area, in my opinion. I've done a lot of research. It's actually why I bought the duplex there. It was super hard to find any sort of deal that was for sale around there. But I don't think it'll be difficult to get 1500 and I'm budgeting that 10 grand or 15 grand based on a worst case scenario. So even if it takes two months, 15 grand and it only bumps the rent by 200, it is still worth the value to me. Okay, so that value, let's assume that it goes to 1450. That is $250 a month. Okay, well that comes out to $3,000 a year on probably a $10,000 investment. I don't think I'll ever sell this duplex, but regardless, within three and a half years, call it four, I'll be recouping that money. So it just increases the cash flow. And now in an investment property like that, you have to look at the indirect value of the appreciation based on the new rental cash flow. So now the total property is not cash flowing 2400, it's 2650 in that estimate, right? And then once the other tenant moves out, if they ever do, they've been there for a while, um, like I think closing in on two years, well, then I can renovate that side and do the same thing and I'll have the perfect rental comp because literally the next door unit is already rented at that price and you know all the contractors and all the materials are good to go. So that's the plan. I'll definitely be able to increase the property value just based on the increase in rents. Market value supports it, no problem in that area. You should be able to rent it out and you know whenever someone moves out, I, I have absolutely zero doubt we'll be able to turn that property, get it cleaned, fix anything we need to, pictures, re-rent it within 30 days every single time. So pretty easy to do, uh, cash flows, great on that property property is super good and I'm excited to get started on the renovations I will definitely show you guys a finished update video once the project is complete assuming if we go through with it all if I decide to do it um, I mean as of right now I'm 100% in and committed to it so it just depends on what those exact quotes and timelines come out to because if it's gonna take three plus months I don't think I'm gonna do it now what I'll do is I will get all of the the products right everything we need all the appliances all the flooring everything will be housed I'll probably just stick it in my house or or something and I will wait until then that tenant moves out so I can make sure hey 
let's jump in and then we can get it done in two weeks because all the materials are here for the next time in a year. So that's the plan. We will uh, see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated from that. Uh, you guys kept asking for some more real estate content. So hopefully you enjoyed this kind of slight vlog breakdown explanation. I've only made but a couple of videos on this channel really talking about real estate and kind of cash flow and then the renovation projects. This is one of my first, uh, it's actually the biggest renovation. It's super small. It's really more so the kitchen, but uh, you know, a couple little things. This is me making that step into the residential renovation side of things, which is something I'm looking for. I'm looking for some deals right now that require a full renovation. I'm also looking into some commercial deals that I want to get into next year, not in terms of commercial properties, in terms of commercial loans, which would mean five units or more. So that's something I'm looking into. Um, always looking to connect with people in the real estate field, looking for off market deals. I'm always a buyer. So let me know if you got anything your way that you might be able to pass over if you're a broker or know of anyone who's looking to sell. So I don't know, keep the channel of communication open, but Hey, Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed that quick little breakdown. Again, I'll give you guys an exact run through once it is complete, once the project's done and what the cost was and what we actually rented out for. I will not make that video until we actually rent it out. So you'll have that coming in the next few months, all right? Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash a like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Posting on here three times a week, you'll see a bunch more content, primarily around my e-commerce businesses and that's all the stuff that pays for the real estate as well as real estate, travel, cars, all that fun stuff. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.